the time now is 9.55 a.m. on Thursday the 5th of March 2020. I've just come back from my smoke break. I've informed Chippo Gael that I've taken my morning medication. I just want to highlight one thing. They have a rule here. They have a rule here that if you do not, they say it's a rule, if a patient doesn't attend the Thursday morning meeting, which is a plan of the week meeting, they're not allowed to, sh to, be, to eat or to be involved in the Sunday communal meal for all patients. Since I've been here, because of the last 20 years, I'm always being attacked either physically, emotionally or psychologically by staff and patients. I don't feel comfortable sitting in that meeting. So I never attend. So when I first got it and, I, and that was going on, I tried, my first two tablets let me eat it. And then they made this rule. And then when I said, oh, can I have some? No, you're not, you can't have none. You're not allowed to eat because you didn't attend the meeting. So every Sunday, if I've got no food in my fridge or I've got none of my own food, I cannot eat. I'm not allowed to eat. All the patients are eating food, drinking downstairs. I'm not allowed to eat. I'm not allowed to eat. They told me you have to get your own food. You're not allowed to eat, okay? Because when I first got it, I would have to do communal shopping to buy like tea, sugar, bread, butter, bits and bobs they need. They give you a certain amount of money. You go to the shop, purchase it, and give them the receipts, yeah? I was doing that regularly. But I'm always getting psychologically attacked by people in the community, so I stopped doing it. Since I stopped doing it, which was about a, about eight, about um, twelve months, a year ago, or six months ago, whatever. Any time I go downstairs and I'm in the kitchen, immediately staff will just appear, start telling me about rules, start shouting at me, whatever. I go to take the milk to just get a drop of communal milk in the communal fridge to make a tea or coffee. It's Maria. Enos, Addy, even David Dente, the deputy ward manager, will start shouting, you're not allowed to use that, put it back, put it back, you didn't do communal shopping. Fair enough. So I had to start buying my own milk. If I use the communal sugar or communal coffee or tea bags that are in the kitchen, every patient uses them, I am told I am not allowed to touch that, I have to put it back, I didn't do the communal shopping. That's how it is. But yet they go into my cupboard and steal my stuff, they go into the fridge, steal my food from the fridge, steal my tobacco and it's properly kept in the office. There was a time, it was about, must have been about sometime in the evening. I went downstairs to get a drink. No, it was at night. It was, it was about nine at night. They thought I was sleeping. I told them I took my meds. I was in my room. They thought, because those times I used to go to bed early. Because I did, what's the point of staying up? You're getting blasted in your mind. So I went downstairs to get a drink and I saw Cecilia Thompson, my key worker, using my seasons from my cupboard. My cupboard was just there. It, that everyone knows it's my cupboard because they've been telling me for years, do you have to keep all your stuff in your cupboard? And it was my cupboard. I see her using all my seasons, blailing out on the table, big pile of chicken. She seasoned it with my seasons. I said, Celia, what are you doing? Those are mine. I said, oh no, 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 they're, they're not yours. So I went to my cupboard, opened my cupboard. They weren't there. I said, they're mine. And she said, oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Adrian gave them to me. He thought they were communal. I said, how can they be communal? They're in my cupboard. And then I said, okay. So I went out to have a smoke. Adrian came back from doing the checks at our house. She had phoned him to make up a light. He came, oh, David, I'm sorry. Um, we used your seasoning. And he met you. I thought it was communal. I said, that's not true, Adrian. You know that's my cupboard. The communal cupboards have communal written on them. Everyone knows which is communal. There's hardly anything in there. So they're using my stuff. I tried to report it to various, the management. I took pictures of the stuff that was used, nothing was done, I was told to go away. That's what they did, they steal my stuff, but I'm not allowed to use communal stuff that's paid for by the NHS. It's not the staff that give the money, the NHS give it, it's from a budget. And I, as a patient, I'm not allowed to eat in the communal meal, all the other patients can, and not all of them attend the meeting, because I've gone there sometimes to go to have a smoke or go and get a drink, I don't see every patient in there, but on a Sunday, every patient is eating, but I'm the only one who's not allowed. I'm meant to stay in my room day and night and never come out while they blast me in my room with telepathic attacks. That's how I live. This is this report. Thank you.